Okay, so I want to get right into today's topic. All right, I want to deal with the topic. We have access. We have access. All right, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 18 states the following. It says this, through him, that is Jesus Christ, we both have access to the Spirit, uh, to the Father through the Spirit. Let me get it again. All right, through Jesus Christ, we both have access through the Spirit to the Father. Now, what does that mean? It means the following, and we need to understand how important the death of Jesus was. When Jesus Christ died and he rose again, he said this, I have to go to the Father so that the Holy Spirit would come. Now, I've explained this many times. Jesus had to go because he was one person in one place. The Holy Spirit is in every single believer. And because of what Jesus Christ did, all right, because of the price that he paid through the blood, through the covenant that was established, you now have access to the Holy Spirit who gives us access to God the Father. And so for the first time, believers have access directly to the Father because of Jesus Christ. The entire Old Testament had no access to the Father. They had no access directly to the Father. And so this is something that shifted so much. That's why you'll hear Jesus time and time and time again say, when you pray, pray to the Father. Pray that the Father would send out the laborers. Pray that the Father, all right, would save the lost. Pray that the Father would answer your prayers. You'll see Jesus Christ always pointing to the Father. Now I want to say this. You are in a more privileged position than what the Old Testament saints were in. I want to tell you, they are so jealous of the church today. Because we have direct access where they had none. They had to go by blind faith. Without the Holy Spirit assisting them. Alright, unless they were a king, prophet or priest. They had no anointing and ability. They were supernatural on their lives. Now I want to say. We as believers. Need to not take this lightly. We need to understand the privilege we have. That we have direct access to the Father. And that when we pray, He hears our voice. He hears our prayers. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be fancy. But it has to come from the heart. And so today I want to challenge each one of us. Let us believe God for the supernatural. Let us believe God that when we pray to the Father that things are going to happen in our lives. Let us trust that God is going to work in each one of our lives. So that the work that he started, he promised that he would finish. But the point I want to get home today is this, is you have direct access. And you know the sad part is, many believers don't use it. Many believers do not sit down and take the time out to pray to the Father every day. We don't use the access that has been given to us. And so I want to challenge us. When last have you prayed to the Father? When last have you asked the Father for something? When last have you just come and worshipped the Father for what He has done, for sending His Son? Remember this, it's the Father that's going to send Jesus back in the final return. It's the Father who's come up with everything that we have. And it's the Father who wants to bless you. In Jesus' name. So this morning when we come around the table, let us celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ has paid the price and we have direct access with the Father. Amen? So, on the night that Jesus was betrayed, He took bread and broke it and He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical and emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. 
So right now, when we come around the table, let us ask God to move in our lives. But more than that, let us use the access that has been granted to you because of the covenant. Let us thank Jesus Christ for paying the price. Let us thank the Holy Spirit for coming into our lives to help us give us that access. Father, we come before you right now. We ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing. And Lord, anything that we might have thought or said wrong, I ask you please to wash it out in Jesus' name. But Father, I thank you for sending Jesus. Jesus, I thank you right now this morning for paying the price on that cross for us. Holy Spirit, I thank you for coming and living inside of each one of us. But Holy Spirit, I thank you for making a way that we've got access to the Father. Jesus, I thank you for paying the price that we have direct access to the Father today. Lord, I pray that as we take of the elements... That we will get a revelation of who we are in Christ. And Lord, that we will use that access in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Amen, folks. Let's partake together. <clears throat> Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we just come before you. And Lord, we release the healing power of God over our physical bodies, the dynamous power to flow right now. I thank you, Jesus, for paying the price that we can walk in divine health. I command every symptom to leave my body right now. Thank you, Lord, that I walk in divine health. Divine healing is mine. And Lord, victory is mine in Jesus' name. And Father, I thank you that you paid the price for this. And that you sent Jesus Christ and he paid the price on the cross. The Holy Spirit and he paid a price on staying on this earth to help us. Lord, I thank you for everything that you've done for us. And Father, right now, I thank you that because of the stripes of Jesus, we walk in divine health. And I claim the covenant today in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and amen. All right, folks, it's Friday. It's Friday. Okay, I want to let you know that uh, Janine and uh, Pastor Leslie are going to be in Stellenbosch. All right, they've had a wonderful time in Belleville last night, but today it is Stellenbosch's turn, okay? So please, I want you to get ready for that. If you haven't registered or haven't booked yet, don't worry, just pitch up, okay? Right now, just come. All right, I want to remind you that on the 15th, that's next week, Pastor Les is going to be in Mount Paul Strand, okay, with Neil and Michelle. So please get ready for this because it's really important. Excuse me, I'm trusting God for some awesome, awesome things. Okay, I have not yet uh, continued to start recording it um, on the new teachings. I'm doing what the doctors have asked and just taking it easy for a few weeks. As soon as I can, I will get going with it. But I want you to know, we have to stay consistent in everything that we do. So tonight, I'm going to be playing something, but please get ready for it. And I want to just bless you. Amen. I want you to be excited with me. I want you to know like you know like you know that God is in control. Amen. All right. So this morning, I want to pray. Now, there's been a lot of um, taxi violence and taxi strikes and a lot of people actually being murdered. Um, and killed in Cape Town. So we're going to pray over that situation that's been going on for the last while. And we're going to trust God for a reversal of this thing right now in Jesus' name, once and for all. So let's pray. Father, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray over this taxi strike and the incidences that are happening in Cape Town. Father, right now we pray peace. I bind every demonic spirit of lawlessness and murder that has been loosed. Father, we come in agreement that we stand and be believe you and release your word over Cape Town. Father, I thank you that Cape Town will be safe again. Lord, the blessing of the Lord will be made manifest in this town, in city, in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you that this thing will be resolved in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for our companies this morning. Lord, I thank you that as we build our altars, that the evil work is restricted in Jesus' name. 
And Lord, I pray right now for a release of the blessing and the power of God over our companies. Thank you, Lord, for supernatural deals, supernatural connections, supernatural and divine contracts in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray right now that we will not get slack in this in Jesus' name and we will continue to do what we're called to do. Father, we pray for the peace of Jerusalem right now. And Lord, I release the blessing of God over Israel. And Father, we thank you for the blessing that is over that nation in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right, folks. I want to just tell you that it's a glorious Friday. I trust that you are ready to have an awesome weekend of relaxing, just getting rejuvenated, spending time with friends and family. But remember this, Jesus Christ is alive and we have to keep on with what we are doing. Amen. Go and do what God tells you to do. All right, let's get to our declaration. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God in my life. So saints, go out with might, go out with valor and keep those atmospheres open. In Jesus' mighty name.